Hi, I'm Dora. Today I'll be presenting my analysis on Ctrip.com and state why the firm will underperform. Ctrip.com is an online travel agency, providing 100% travel services toward mainland China. Despite of its large market share in China, plenty of evidence from the hot model indicates that Ctrip will underperform in the future. Starting from 2009, as the Chinese economy slowed down and OTA industry competition became more intense, Ctrip's sales growth, profit margin, and asset turns have decreased, which have led to a fade in CFRI level. But the firm further increased its asset growth, causing a slump in share price. Due to its recent stock ownership replacement with Baidu, Ctrip is expected to gain stronger market power and CFRI level is projected to increase to around 12% in 2015. However, it will drop to around 5% thereafter, which is very close to the discount rate. Citrip won't be able to create much future value without any successful business renovation. In terms of valuation, the hot model provides ample proof that the company is overvalued. Based on the size and leverage of Citrip, its current warranted price is $22.71 per share, but its current market price is around $49. Even if we focus for Ctrip a higher CFRI level, a higher asset growth rate, a lower discount rate, or a combination of the three, the new warranted prices are still below the current price. Besides, the multiples of Ctrip are significantly greater than the industry average. Though it may, it may be signaled that company owns more intangible assets than its peers, unreasonably high multiples imply that the firm is very much overvalued. By comparison, Ctrip underperforms most of its peers in valuation and operating quality. Priceline Group will ma maintain its CFRI level at around 25%, which is much higher than that of Ctrip. The operating metrics for Priceline has also been improving over the last decade. Its asset turnover rate is almost four times as much as that of Ctrip. Thus, Priceline is more efficient in its day-to-day -day operations. In summary, Ctrip Decom will underperform in the long run due to its significant overvaluation and below than average operating quality. Considering future development, Ctrip need to increase its CFRI level by improving its profit margin and asset turns, and then invest in its assets.